I'm Brigantia Blackford of the Blackford Grimoire. Welcome to our series on the Havamal. Today we're looking at verse 141. The first translation reads from Olive Gray. Hidden runes shalt thou seek in interpreted signs, many symbols of might and power, by the great singer painted, by the high powers fashioned, graved by the utterer of gods. Then the second translation comes from W.H. Auden and P.B. Taylor. Runes you will find, and readable staves, very strong staves, very stout staves, staves that both were stained, made by mighty powers, graven by the prophetic God. And the last translation from Vikingair.org. Runes thou wilt find, and explained characters, very large characters, very potent characters, which the great speaker depicted, and the high powers forms, and the powers prince graved. So, written language. Uh, the invention of the written word is possibly one of the greatest magical acts in history. The characters we use even in modern alphabets are still symbols, and symbols have meaning, and that which is meaningful has power. The adage about the pen being mightier than the sword is proven true time and again, because before a sword is ever wielded, it must be directed by the mind, and the mind is directed by the ideas it consumes, all of which is conveyed through symbols. Many symbols are so commonplace that we really fail to recognize the full scope of their meaning and how they can be utilized through magical intention. So, let's go to the issue of divination. Because we're talking about runes, we're going to be talking about divination. Now, the litmus test for any tool that's used for divination is not, I repeat, not dependent upon absolute indisputable proof that our ancestors used said tool for divination. The test that actually matters is whether or not the tool produces meaningful and quality results. The proof is on the pudding, and I will die on this hill. I do not care about any of the heathens who are saying the runes can't be used for divination. Our ancestors never did that. Uh, Odin did. Uh, there's a, there is some, uh, some evidence to suggest the ancestors did, and the reality is, is that modern practitioners today use the runes for divination all the freaking time and it works therefore i think we can lay this particular issue to rest now the wisdom of the runes they can be accessed through divination which is why we use it for that purpose and there are a variety of effective methods for doing so it takes time to understand and to peel back the layers of meaning in order to have a comfortable sense of the symbolism and how to apply it but once the meaning is clear it's then up to the individual to make the best possible use of the information uh, so that does it for our second Havamal verse for this week. Next week, we will be looking, of course, at verses 142 and 143. So I hope you'll be back for that. But in the meantime, let me know in the comment section uh, what you took from all of this. And uh, I guess I'll uh, be looking for those, uh, those reflections. But I think that'll do it for now. And I will see you guys next time. Bye for now.